Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft Down Under. This is episode 33. So the last good couple episodes, we've been working really freaking hard on an XP farm with a unique delivery system. If you don't know what's going on, you need to go catch up because the delivery system is a little bit uh, crazy. So anyway, we're just going to be jumping right into because I've been doing a lot of off-cam prep work. When I say a lot, I've dug out a nice sized room for where you know where we're going to be doing all the storage and the, the enchanting and all that bloody good stuff for the uh, XP farm. Uh, neither know the, the the system is not quite complete yet. I thought I'd hurry up and get that sort of knocked, you know, knocked on the head. So I've done that. So I'll come up here real quick. So uh, all right, here we go. And boom, check it out. Yes, it's, I've dug all this out, replaced with sandstone for the base, because obviously we're going to decorate this sucker here. This here is a dome, and it's 33, uh, so if you if you go over to plots, the link will be in the description below, guys. If you want to create any round objects, balls of doom, like freaking anything round, you can do it quite easily through plots. Plots is a nice little site that I've advertised them so bloody much, but, uh, you know, great site for, for helping anyone get a dome up and going so dome is up and going and installed little bit of a pain in the bum there is an ocean not even joking there's an ocean just above the ceiling there but by five blocks um when i was doing the site here i knocked out some gravel and it sort of just started flooding down i'm like oh crikey oh struth but um Pretty much I started off right here. This is where I started off. So pretty much what I did is I sort of come against the orange uh, concrete here, uh, or cement, whatever you want to call it. And um, pretty much I just, I measured the side out and I was like, okay, that's a nine. And then I just sort of dug around and replaced like a, a line all the way around. And then I sort of went up from there. Quite simple stuff. Digging out the room was a little bit difficult. I've nearly chewed up my good pick here. Um, again, like this is another good pick from 30 levels and as you can see i'm pretty battle scarred here from the amount of mobs that have kept attacking me once the room was dug out bloody crikey sort of turned into a mini mob farm all right so anyway uh the room is complete we're not even going to touch that this episode because we've got to sort of get started on the redstone part of things ah uh, now how the bloody hell am i going to get up here hang on let's go ahead and uh sort of break in up here all right let's just break in for now all right, so up we come. So this is the testing area from obviously last episode. Just remember, uh, just, you know, the new room down there that's installed. Okay, so we got the five minecarts squished together that picks up the five zombies. It comes along the track here and they get dismounted in here and then hits the, uh, obviously, uh, the, pl the plate here. And then, yeah, yeah, it's just pre pretty much race over there. The problem is, what we're going to have, the problem, the last little little problem that we're going to have with the system here, we tested it, it worked. If you want to see this in, in working order, go watch last episode. But, pretty much, what we're going to have a problem with now, is the baby zombies. Now, the best thing about baby zombies, we should be relatively okay to control them. Um, because a baby zombie will not sit, you know how the glass, you know how the glass block, is oh you can't really see it but the glass block is sort of sitting on top of the activator rail the activator rail obviously ejects the zombies now the zombies are hitting the glass block and sort of get pushed back into this room here you know the room back in here like the on the orange concrete there so that's that's how that sort of works the problem about the baby zombies is the when it gets activated the baby zombies can actually jump out on the next available block which is usually on top of a track neither know there is a glass block above it um, which is a huge problem now i did find in testing that uh, if there is a glass block, you can actually force a baby zombie to sort of eject onto the side block here. So if I, we cleared that there, it would actually prefer to eject on a side block than on a track because on, in, on you know quite a lot of updates ago they sort of made it so mobs sort of avoid spawning or going onto tracks i think they did something like that so so sort of how i don't know the minecraft works it's, it seems to be um if there's available block next to it it will actually inject to the right or the left before it ejects to the uh, onto the track it will not eject back or forward 
Just remember that. We'll not eject back or forth to the baby zombie. It'll only eject sides. So, it's, and yeah. So, if we free up this block here, they should technically freaking eject right there onto that block. Tote, fingers crossed. So, that just means if I can go clear a little bit of inventory space here. I think when we, when we start building the room here, what we're going to do is probably glass half this so we can sort of see the entire machine in action. I think that would be bloody fantastic. So what we'll do is we'll head on down here and just grab a couple of... Uh, we need a piston or two. Oh, a sticky piston or two will be lovely. So we'll swap that out there. Um, we'll get probably a couple of pieces of redstone here. My inventory is just chockers at the moment. I need to bring over a couple more chests, I reckon. Yeah, oh, well, hello. What have we got here? Well, that's going to bloody help us out a lot, eh? There we go. We can sort of just plomp some of this in here and just, yeah, get that go on there. Okay. So, we got a piston. We need an orange concrete block. And well, what we need to do now is install this sucker. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this system is going to work. It's going to eject. Oh, I should have brought some glass up too. It's going to eject right there. So we'll just sort of dig straight down. Boom, 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 boom. That's where they're going to eject to, right? So we put in a piston. Pretty much in here. Whoop. There we go. Lovely. Oh, man, I think... No, no, hang on. It needs to go one back. Sorry. Get rid of that block. It needs to go one back. Whoa! All right. Break out of here real quick. Uh, this is where the lava was, by the way, last episode when we are testing... Testing it. Okay, go ahead and put a concrete block in there. Boom. Okay, so that there should work quite relatively well. I'm going to do a quick test run real quick. Phone hole. Right, the stuff is coming out. Yep, see? Oh, okay. Slight problem. This piston here is not... Um coming back so that's obviously a problem we might have to move uh it could be because the redstone is powering this block and then and or it's not turning off long enough so if we break okay yeah okay it's not turning off long enough all right so we need sort of a we need to put a repeater on i think to give it delay one more test run there might be a bit quick watching 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 no, negative. It doesn't doesn't even go at all. Okay, so that's going to be obviously a problem. I'll stick a... Re we might have to move it back by a block, but that's okay. It seems that the redstone signal has been held on, which is a no-go. Um, so we'll grab a repeater. Uh, where the frig did I put them? Probably right in front of my eyes. Yes, they are. Couple of pieces of redstone here. Some torches. Let's go back. Oh, glass. I need glass because we've got to replace glass, don't we? Go ahead and go up. And what we'll do... Um, I'm not actually 100% what, what we're going to do. I don't know what's powering it. Because the activator rail is technically not powered at the moment. Because I got rid of... There was a torch here powering that. So technically got rid of all that. There we go. Got rid of all that. We should be able to... Um, do we have... Can, can I have these minecarts back? Sorry, minecarts. I'm going to take one of you. Oh, oh, struth! Whoopsie. I broke, <laughs> broke multiple systems here. Oh, no, you silly duffer data. All right, sorry. Just replace that. And what was here? Powered rail here? <sighs> All right, I was trying to get the minecarts back because that's going to be a lot easier to do testing with. Actually, we got one minecart. That's fine. So, that's going to be a lot easier to do testing with. The power of that is... Do we get power? Yeah, we do. We get power straight out of it like that. If we could... Can we run redstone straight over that block? No, you can't. Can we run it right at the back there? See, that's constantly on. Why is that... Yeah, why was that constantly on? Alright, what's underneath this? Oh, oh it's powering that block. Okay, that's fine. All right, so, hopefully, oh, it's truth. All right, that's all working nicely. Uh, just put a redstone torch just on top like that. Just double check that one last time. 
Oh, what the hell? Oh, because it's powering that block again. Oh, what a pain in my bum. What a literal pain in my bum. Okay, let me replace this. Oh, of course. Of course you did, Data. Of course you bloody did, you Fruit Loop. Um, okay, so what we need to do is... I'm going to go ahead and move the tracks back one, I think. It's probably best because that's been powered and I don't want that to be powered. Um, unless we just put a live... Actually, does 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 the... Um... Where did it go? Give me that track. Does the, the detector rail activate that and just turn off the torch? That would be just so handy right now. Ah, oh, freak. What was I thinking, Data? See, this is what happens when you don't do redstone in years and years and years. Um, okay, so what we need to do is sort of replace this because I screwed all that up, obviously. That should be all good to go now. We just sort of uh, run that around and... Ta-da! That's fine. Oh, is there going to be need a delay? I hope not. Okay, so... Alright, there's no... We need to sort of reset the system now because we fixed it all. The system, the system is now fixed and all good to go. That needs to be powered. That's okay. We can power that probably with a solid redstone uh, block. I'm not too worried about that just yet. Not too worried. So what we need to do is grab the glass that we just had before and seal. I'm going to double seal everything, all right? So the problem with this system is I'm worried about zombies getting ejected outside the system and that can happen that can happen see we've only done what three test runs last episode three four test runs they all 100 percent successful they all died they all ejected in the right spot but but there's a there's a there's a possibility that it can eject on the outside so making it triple thick like we just did see see how we're making it really really thick is going to be better so now what we're going to do is sort of just break this so now that we've got the baby zombie ejection pad and then we got the adult ejection pad we technically have a a mob sorter on our hands which is fantastic built onto the system that we have and what i'm actually gonna do so now that she's getting dropped down okay so now she's getting dropped down so all right so the floor of the room hang on i'm just gonna build a floor of the room so just say this is gonna be the floor of the room because i'm not digging out another layer screw that so this here is going to be the new floor of the room when I when we finished. So I'll bring this all the way back. There we go. There we go. Lovely. So technically they're going to be in here. Go ahead and break these guys here if we can. Holy smokes, five minecarts. We need to free up five. So lapis, gunpowder, dirt. What else? We can get rid of a chest and two cobblestone. All right, we got rid of everything. All right, so seal this bad boy back up. All right, and then sort of take it up. Take this side up too. Okay, so this is going to be obviously the kill chamber. And remember what I was saying. I think, you know, it'd be really cool if we could see the, the chamber in action. Okay, like the whole eject ejection um, onto the, to the pad there. That would be awesome. So if we could... Just go ahead and sort of, oh, not that. Go ahead and sort of glass this up here, like so. Yes, okay, we're going to have to make up there pretty, like glowstone or something, um, because you can see stone, and obviously that's not nice. Hang on, I'm just worried about this corner over here. It's giving me the spooks. Something's going to spawn here. Um, okay. Oh, it's, it's not looking bad. Look at that. I think a couple of nice pop-out Watts McCallus there would be bloody absolutely lovely. So what we'll need to do now is sort of just fix up the back end. We're going to need a new way to get to the bloody mine shaft at this rate. It should be directly underneath us. Hang on a second. Can we please make a new mine, a connection down to the mine? So we'll, what we'll do is... Alright, so what we can do... Okay, so the... So we can sort of just dig to one side, dig straight down. Oh yeah, I got this. All right. So what we'll do is come over here. And we'll just because now that we're going to sort of start sealing stuff up. So that was it. Bring back here, and what we'll do is just sort of there you go. Look at that. Lovely. All right, that's down. Oh, I see you. Just, just, just watch out. I'm going to make this actually um, a little bit more friendly. <laughs> 
We are on lava, and uh, I don't want no da Kentucky Fried Data going on in here. That would be bloody awful. Okay, lovely. All right, there we go. So we got access now to the main tunnel. The chest should be just down there. Okay, there you go. Lovely. All right, so we don't need technically the back here anymore, so that's fine. Seal this bad boy completely up. Actually, just remember, don't leave any air blocks anywhere down here. So if, the, if like, down here, I reckon we need to seal up literally all this, seal it up with four blocks, because, remember, when they're ejecting, they can still technically find a valid block to eject to, and then that will cause problems down the track, and we don't need that. Hang on, torch, torch. We don't need that. So that system there is completely locked and loaded. Uh, what we what we obviously have to do is install a crushing system, and we need to somehow figure out where the bloody hell the baby zombies are gonna go. Because at the moment we sort of got them, um, we got them going down a hole. So do we merge them with the adults? Do we not merge them with the adults? Do we what, what the frig? You know, strew. There, there's multiple questions that have to be asked and answered. So, again, I'm going to go ahead and seal this up now because we're getting closer and closer to full-blown runs. Um, see what I mean? Uh, back here, we've got us somehow... I might have to turn... See this track? I might have to turn it sharply and then sort of go into here because I'm going to build a wall in here hiding the back area here because, look, you can kind of see the roof and everything's nasty back here. So that's got to sort of be pretty prettied up, if you know what I, you know what I mean. Um, so what I want to do now is just return these tracks, reset them, so have I reset them to the spot, which this should do quite nicely. There we go, off they go, off they go, well, did I have another one? Is it reset? Yeah, they're all 100% reset now. I'm gonna go ahead and go for one test. Alright, they slide along nicely. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Now, I there, there's no way we can test the baby part yet until the, the, until the entire, to be honest, until the entire farm is going, we are not going to know where those ba the ba whether the babies are going to actually eject to the right or not because the, the train is going that way, so yeah, to the right. So we'll, what we'll do is dig a nice-sized room back here out now. Um, for the redstone, because I'm going to put a crusher in, probably, we've got the orange concrete, probably in there, so I'll just mark that out, so that's going to be a crusher, because remember, you can suffocate them, so if the adult zombies land in here, we would press a button on the side here, with a clock back there, obviously crushing them for the perfect amount of time, usually throw a potion, kaboom, blammy, they all die, maybe set up, we can put some hoppers underneath to suck up the loot, and maybe come out with a chest or something. Um, this side here is going to be a little different. We can't put the redstone on this side. Unfortunately, because of... If I can find it... There is that hole here somewhere. Which I was just saying to not freaking leave as many air blocks as possible. But it's here? Is this it? Okay, this is it. Alright, that's no problem. This is it right here, guys. So... We'll go ahead and... No, this here's got to be pistons at the back here, so we don't seal that up. But this here, this is what they come down. So we sort of just put them in a pit for now, because if we do... T oh, oh, crikey, I've got to think where to put them. Like, obviously separate chamber. Definitely a separate bloody chamber, I think. Maybe, maybe a chamber under the button? That'd be pretty cool. Maybe another crusher? I don't know. So you can, like, throw the potion for the adults. Bam, dead. And then come over and, like, oh, I've got, like, 50 freaking little babies. Bam, dead. You know, that'd be pretty cool, too. Maybe just put them in a pit of lava. Like, frig, back in the day, well, you st I'm pretty sure you still do that to this day. Is like, drop them into a... Oh, shruth. Sorry, that was my bad. I broke the bloody red stone. Sorry, sorry. Put that back. <laughs> put it back. Okay, so I'm going to dig out behind it, because this is obviously where the, uh, um, what's them call it to going? The pistons are going in here. Redstone's got to go in here as well. Three wide data. 
All right, yep, three right there. Back, and then put, like doing a boomerang here. Yeah, bloody boomerang. Just pulling it back around on itself would be absolutely lovely here. There we go. So button can go nice and cozy in here. I have a bad feeling now. I'm just making more ejection points. We might have mob spawn behind here. I have no freaking clue. No clue. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and call it now. Thanks for watching episode 33 of Minecraft Down Under. You know the drill. You're enjoying the content. Make sure you smash those buttons. Just 10 seconds of your life to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode. If you hate the episode, you can smash the dislike too. It still helps the episode at the end of the day. Um, also, appreciate if you leave a comment below. Even if it's a high data or how's your day going. Or, or maybe reply to some other people. Oh, I don't know. It would be much appreciated. It helps the episode. Also... You know what helps the episode a lot? If you share this on your favorite social media, that'd be much appreciated, guys. All right, guys, I'll catch you all later.